And hello, my name is Andy Garthwaite and my story is that I, I joined the army in 2004 and um, I, I went through sort of my whole army career with, uh, I'd done 10 years in the army, but in 2010 I was deployed to Afghanistan and on my second last patrol in Afghanistan uh, I was hit by a rock propeller grenade during a firefight with the Taliban. Um, when the rock propeller grenade came into the compound and hit me, it actually blew off my right arm all the way from the shoulder. So that time when I was lay on the floor waiting for a medical assistance, you know, um, I was just sort of thinking, am I going to survive this whole sort of incident that's happened to me and am I really going to get back to the UK to see my family? And so long and behold, I came back to, the, back to the UK within a day of being hit in Afghanistan and then I went to Queen Elizabeth Hospital where I started to go through my whole medical procedures. Um, and sort of two years into my army rehabilitation, I had a surgeon from Austria come over to speak about a bionic arm that he could actually um, do as a medical surgery for me to implant the nerves into my muscle which in turn working with electrical engineers to work with them to make this prosthetic arm where a shell would sit on my chest and little um, pressure pads and a microprocessor in the elbow would actually be able to make me move this prosthetic limb. Now when I was sat in this sort of audience getting this brief off the actual surgeon I was thinking you know who in the right mind can actually do this type of technology and I've never heard of anything like this before and you'd see it on the telly with people moving different things and stuff and you think it's absolutely fantastic but there's always like someone in the back of the scenes doing something with a computer and the last thing I wanted was to carry a massive backpack on my back with a big computer in just to move a prosthetic arm. So anyway, I went ahead with the, the surgery and the operation. Um, it was successful in Vienna. I was in surgery for six hours and then I spent two years with an electrical engineer who would just start to do all this sort of function tests and um, getting my muscles working again and getting these pro um, little processes on my chest in the right area so this prosthetic arm can move. So now if I just think of doing things about raising my elbow, as soon as I think about raising my elbow, the elbow raises, if I want to open my hand, the, the hand will open. But also the same with wrist rotate. And it, that, how I like it so much is that it's very quick and I can do certain things, like three things at once, so I can bring the elbow, open the hand, and also rotate the wrist at the same time. Um, and sort of this advance, you know, it, when I first, like I said before, when I had this first advance, I thought, you know, this isn't going to be feasible at all. I thought, it's not going to work. I was dead sort of optimistic about the, the whole thing, but I thought, I've got nothing to lose, so why not try it? So, but I was proven wrong, you know, with these, all these engineers that were working um, with us and the surgeon, and to have this arm now, um, two years on, it's just adapted my life fully, you know. I've got a daughter now, I'm, I'm married happily, I've, I, li I live in the northeast of England, and you know, life couldn't be any better for me at the minute, and I would hate to think back now of what life would have been like with just my single arm, because I class this prosthetic arm part of my life now.